wanting to film this video for the longest time and I've been wanting to get into my nesting phase, this apparent nesting phase, for the longest time. And do you know what? The honest thing is, I've just not felt like doing it. And my advice to anyone who is potentially pregnant and you're because I had been told like when I was posting Instagram videos and reels people were like you're nesting so early like you have loads of time and that was true like I did have loads of time but honestly I didn't think that I was going to feel this exhausted <laughs> naively towards the end of pregnancy so my tip is whenever you feel like nesting whatever feels right for you do it then don't listen to anybody else do it when it feels good because now I am currently 38 weeks and two, three days pregnant and I've left it to last minute. Although most things are like kind of set up, we do need to do some things. For anyone who's new here, my name is Sarah. I live in Thailand, so I'm an expat. I live like an expat life. So we live in a rented accommodation and we move frequently not we're not like traveling around constantly like we're settled here now for at least a year but we move around so i have to set up my nursery or my home in a slightly different way to where if i was in the uk where i'm from and i had like bought a home and had everything excuse me had everything decorated the way i wanted it it would be obviously a different kind of journey which I would love to do in the future, but we're just not at that stage now. So I live in Koh Samui, it's a little island in Thailand, and we live in a lovely home. It's beautiful, it's rented, but it isn't ours. So when I, the point of me saying that is we don't, we're not buying heaps of things. We're not going crazy. Although my partner might say that I've like, what are you talking about? Like you've got everything you want, which I, I have got everything I want, but my point is, is it's not gonna be like this whole, like we're decorating the nursery from top to bottom. And she's gonna be in this room with us and she's got her little cabinet here and we'll, we'll get into it, we'll show you. Anyway, so today's video, we're just gonna, we're just gonna see what we can get through, to be honest. Um, baby girl could come any day now. So in my mind, I'm thinking, right, if I was to go into labor today and come home, would I feel okay with it? Is the house gonna be perfect? No, who cares, you know? But as long as we've got the basic things in place where I'm not gonna come home and feel like extremely overwhelmed with a newborn and all of these things in the house not being right, then yeah, I don't know if you get my point, but that's what I'm trying to say. So, let's get into it. I thought I'd show you a little bump update because when I was like in the early stages of pregnancy, I used to love seeing like the little updates of people's bumps. So this is, this is the situation. She is, I don't know if my stomach has dropped yet. I think in this stage she should be dropped a little bit. We've not had that yet. So we'll see, she's moving now as I speak, but hoping that she's gonna drop soon. Also, not an ad in any way, but these trousers I got from Bay the Label. I've got a couple of things from them. And if you, especially if you live in a hot country, Dresses are cute, um, there's loads of cute pregnancy outfits that you can get. However, if you're like me, my legs have started like rubbing together when I'm walking. And when you're hot, pregnant, feeling like a hippo, um, in this heat and you get that like chafing between your legs, sorry for the details, but honestly, it's not the one. So I'd recommend loose trousers that you can just get. I would honestly get these in every single nudie color um so like black white beige light brown whatever it is and just switch them out like honestly this is what this is the stuff i've been wearing the most so yeah that's just another tip that you didn't ask for so don't ignore this we've got two side bedside tables don't even ask um plan is to put like baby crib here maybe and then, I mean, like, look at the mess. We've got to sort all this out. If you haven't got a flask yet, get one. <laughs> For pregnancy, get one. It has been my best friend. So, she's going to sleep here. I sleep this side now because I'm going back and forth to the toilet every two seconds of the night. Baby crib is going to go there somewhere. It's a tiny little bedside crib. And then... I'm going to change this to actually our maternity pictures. We just got beautiful maternity pictures back, which I absolutely love. And then we've got like this. This is all hers. Basically, I've got some like bed sheets in the bottom there. Her hospital bag is ready. 
my hospital bag is almost ready bedside caddy i say bedside caddy honestly it's probably just going to be wheeled around the house because we live on like one level wheeled in and out if i'm out of the pool i can just take that out in and out and it's just really easy so that's that's i say bedside caddy but honestly it's just going to be a house caddy this one here i've got i need to like go through it and stock it properly but this is for the car so i'm just going to have something in the car always i know i'll always have my diaper bag with me but do you know just the more the merrier just have it ready and we're going to go through this we're going to go through that we're going to go through like bags and sort out things <laughs> wipes we've got diapers i'm gonna put like let me go back to here this video is all over the place i'm gonna put like her moisturizer like any little creams that we need in this little box and just leave it in the top drawer but i've made everything diy like homemade stuff so that's going to be stored in the fridge until she gets here because it's just so hot to keep it constantly in here unless it's been used obviously my friends say, girl, you better take care. Cause that man is trouble, you best be aware. And though it down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. So I've just hit, I've just emptied this because they were somewhat in there, but I'm gonna put them in age groups because obviously when she's newborn, she will not need bigger clothes. Well, we don't know how big she's gonna be or how long she's gonna be, but kind of not not gonna put like six months in with newborn stuff. So it's more or less folded. I have to let go of perfection of everything being <laughs> perfect, but I've already set this out into a little compartments and what I'm thinking is to put her bows, hats, I mean she won't be wearing that for a while, little things like this in here and again not worrying about folding everything perfect these are just little you know little cloths I think I'll go mad if I try to fold everything perfect and keep it perfect so we're just gonna we're honestly just gonna roll with it. When I was down and down alone came you Though you might be a liar and a cheat too I just can't quit you now cause I love you Yes I do I can't let you go baby I love how distracted I'm getting already So I just want to show some cute things that I've got Because when my family came from the UK they did bring a couple of things um, and it's just more like, it's not like an everyday outfit, but it's just more like occasional things. Um, so firstly, how cute are these little boots? Of course, I can't find the other one because this drawer is such a mess. <gasps> For her first Christmas, her little booties. I can't. I just can't cope. Um, I think my dad and my stepmom got me this. <laughs> Ciao, because of course my partner's Italian, so we need we need an Italian thing. But we also got a Welsh thing. We got this that says, <laughs> "I love to cutch," which means cuddle in Welsh. So she'll have that on at some point as well. Roberta's colleague, got bless her, she got us these little Disney things. I'm not a bright girl. I'm not a bright girl. However, we know that we need to adjust on special occasions. <laughs> so these are like very bright, but I know it's probably not gonna be an everyday thing. But we do live in an island, so she's not meant to be dressed always in neutrals, I guess. But I love neutrals, guys. It just brings me so much peace when I see, especially newborn babies, like wrapped up in neutral stuff. I love it. Anyway, that's super cute. Um, my brother got me this little dressing gown. It's from the White Company in the UK. 
with little ears. I think it's from like six months up, six to 12 months, but the second I can get her in that and have her sit in with this little hood on, oh, I can't cope. I can't wait for that. First swimsuit. <laughs> can you cope? Can you actually cope with how cute that is? Yes, as well, I saw this in H&M. I went to buy this the second I found out it was a girl literally from the hospital to, to H&M. This little summer hat. This has turned into a baby haul, hasn't it? With her tan little Italian, half, half Italian baby skin. My first Christmas. I can't believe like the fact that we're gonna have a baby here any moment, but also the fact that She's gonna be here for, like we're gonna have a, I love Christmas anyway. I absolutely love Christmas. I'm like a child of Christmas. But the fact I'm gonna have a little human moving around at Christmas time here, it just makes, it literally makes me so happy. Anyway, back to what we're actually doing, which is organizing. This is the problem. See, I get really carried away and I start looking at things that I haven't looked at in a while and then I start taking pictures of little things. I just get carried away. So. Back to this, I'm thinking just to fold everything, there's no agenda for it because it's just like when she's much older and for special occasions or, yeah. So I'm thinking just to fold them and just put them in piles um, and just close the drawer until we need it. Do you know what I mean? Into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's that happy girl that I know with a heart on fire? In this bottom one, we've got first aid kit, Doppler, extra like little cotton pads, extra breast pads, extra bottles. I plan to exclusively breastfeed, but I will just add like extra bits here just in case. Also, my pumps will go here, but they're in my hospital bag. Then this is the gel for the for the Doppler and also some breast milk storage bags. I'll also add my cholesterol collector things here and any syringes, those kind of things. Then here I've got um, onesies, so just different, different sleeve type onesies. Little sleepers for her. We've got little cloths that can just be multi-purpose. These can be like um, big burp cloths or little swaddles, little blankets, like, again, multi-purpose. And then on the top drawer, I've got wipes, diapers, a portable kind of changing mat. I'll also add in here, like, her little DIY creams. Um, I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath, guys. And that's pretty much it. I, I think you... Let me turn it around. I think you can't really plan ahead until you see what works for you. I know so many people love to give opinions on like, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do that, but every person's different, every family's different, every baby's different, every house is different. So whatever works for you, you just, it's like a trial and error, isn't it? This is the crib we've got for her. For her. I don't know if you can see properly. This is the crib. We got something really simple here in Thailand. I wanted something that could go next to the bed so it can go next to the bed and I can lower down one side. So this side goes down, we can adjust the height, we can adjust many things. And she can be like attached to my side basically in the night. And I watched one, I can't remember who it was, but I watched one video when one mum was saying 
that she she had like a beautiful aesthetic crib for her firstborn and she found that when she was getting up but like obviously you're you're recovering from birth you're tired and you're dealing with all of these new things she said when she was getting up in the night and having to walk over to a crib and bend inside like a big deep crib like a wooden one um she said her back was just in agony and it was difficult to like once you got the baby asleep and you're trying to put it into a big crib it's difficult to to maneuver it without to maneuver the baby without like waking the baby up and she just said for that for, for her i think her second or her third baby she got something practical that i can put this down and and instead of bending and getting up every time i can just scoop the baby and put her onto me if that makes sense sorry i'm out of breath there's no reason for it <laughs> other than i'm pregnant okay it does not look the most aesthetic i agree but this is just what we're working with for now and we're going to see how it goes i don't have a beautiful thing that fits perfectly on this little base but it is what it is so we've put um a waterproof like protector thing underneath then we've got this like really not great cover on top and then i've got another one of these waterproof things that honestly if i'm being really honest i'm probably just gonna have this as a practical thing have this and then have bub on top and then when these are kind of used or dirty swap them out because i've got a ton of these so that's what i'm thinking <laughs> it doesn't look the best i do agree but i think it's just about being practical and what works best so we'll see again we'll see how we go with it um yeah so my plan is to move these out um push this right up against that wall this is perfectly fine before anyone's going to comment and be like you shouldn't have anything above a baby i know but this is checked it's perfectly fine it's not going to fall on her um so that's against there i sleep here and then once that's pushed right up against that wall I'll be able to scoot out and go to the bathroom um, and then just scoop her out in the night. That is the plan. <laughs> this is the stroller we got. It's, it's a local brand here in Thailand. Um, I, we will probably get like a fancier one once we start like traveling a bit, um, going on airplanes, those things. But honestly, I foresee most of the time me carrying her, like in a carrier. But we've got this for now and it was really, really, really reasonable. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna put the insert that arrived inside because this doesn't have like any support for her. This actually swaps around the other side. So if she does wanna, like when she's newborn, I kind of want her to be able to see my face and look up at the sky like when, we, when we're walking. But when she's a bit older, I'll face her outside. Anyway, unnecessary details, so we'll put this inside. See what I mean? Like there's no, um, oh, can you see her move? <laughs> um, there's no insert, there's no like little cushiony support at all. So this is only going to be suitable when she's newborn because it's really not um, sturdy enough. But obviously when she's, when she's really small, she's not going to wiggle too much around. So that can go there, those straps come through, and then this, this can come all the way up, like this, and then we've got these additional ones, like this. So she can sit in there, I can't, it's so freaking cute. will make you forget all your sorrows let go like there's no tomorrow let's have a drink just relax all your problems will fade if you're ready for a good time count on me there's a party in the backyard that's your problems away. okay so we're pretty much done for the day i'm absolutely exhausted i did some other things in between like recording this video but honestly guys i don't know if it's the heat combined with like just being pregnant i don't want to make it sound like i'm complaining because i'm honestly so excited i just popped on my um 
Instagram stories and I was saying like it doesn't matter which stage you are at pre through pregnancy whether it's two months or nine months the, re the, the feeling of like oh my god there's actually a little human curled up that me and the person I love has created who is going to be here really soon and she's going to be in my arms and it's just the feeling is just indescribable like it's it's truly indescribable um to sum up like how i'm feeling i'm feeling nervous about like i'm i'm so excited for birth and if you follow me on instagram you'll know i talk quite a lot about like hypnobirthing and i have an amazing doula here in on Koh Samui. So I'm so excited, but I'm also nervous, I can't deny that. And I'm also um, nervous about how I'm gonna cope, to be really honest, like how I'm gonna cope with being a new mum, being in another country, being um, coping with all of it. Like the, the, not, the, the lack of sleep, the new journey, the new dynamic of my relationship with my partner, just all of this stuff, like as much, as strong as you can be as a couple, as strong as your mindset can be, it's still very daunting and a bit, a bit scary, a bit scary, but also like so exciting. Like, I just can't wait to have you with us. I'm so just curious to see how she looks, um, how, like seeing Roberta with her and just that relationship blossom like I just my heart is just so full already so and then seeing your family members like get introduced and they they meet their granddaughter for the first time or they meet meet their niece or whatever for the first time and it's just like it's so beautiful I'm so so grateful and I'm so excited so thank you for watching I will link all of the other kind of pregnancy related videos in here and yeah, I don't know if I'll do more nesting videos, but we'll see how we feel. Maybe some cleaning ones. 